Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are reviewing a, uh, another little uh, space engineer ship here. It is the uh, Fort Mac by uh, Death by Buick. He plays on the uh, ETL server. It's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at this thing. So, as you can see right here, it's got refineries it looks like inside, which is nice. That's nice to have on a miner so you can find things on the go. Looks like you got plenty of batteries too. Yes, and plenty of drills. What else do you got? He has turrets. Each direction it seems. Jump drives. With, let's see how much range he has here. 5,000 dry. Well, I guess 5,000 and a half if you uh, want to round it out. But yeah, looks like it, uh, it's missing a bit of a uh, turret here. You can just slap that on. Or, yeah. One thing I am noticing is these connectors, or maybe they are ejectors. No, they are connectors. They're uh, kind of a bit hard to get to, it looks like. So maybe you want to put the connector down here, since it's uh, farther off uh, everything, you know? Except for these turret hitboxes, of course, because, you know, turrets and space engineers. Anyway, let's uh, give a bit of a interior tour. First, uh, look at this thruster deck. Very nice and symmetrical. And you got uh, four turrets here to ward off any pursuers. Anyway, interior to I guess. Oh, you do have a camera. That's pretty nice. I find that is pretty useful. Uh, a bit dark. Ah, I see. It's got lights now. Let's see the acceleration. Decent. Looks fairly maneuverable. We got a ladder up and down here. I guess we're going down. Uh, here you got a sorter, so maybe the uh, connectors out there are rejectors. Got your gravity generator. Pretty nice. Very utilitarian. Looks like I got a, uh, a mining transport to spawn in there. Anyway, not much in the way of furnishing. Let's uh, take a look outside again. Alright, so I did a little bit of a cross-section here. <clears throat> so you got six jump drives in total. That's pretty good. Two hydrogen tanks. Got your rooms here. A fair bit of gyros. They are in the center. So if you get a wall blown off, they won't come loose or anything. That's pretty nice. Looks like you got even more batteries in the middle, so you got tons of extra power. Very nice. Actually, I think this entire thing might run... Oops. Looks like I had symmetry turned on, but we'll ignore that. Looks like it runs entirely on battery power, so it looks like uh, I guess he recharges it at his station. Pretty cool. Saves space too, especially with large reactors. Anyway, uh, you got six large cargo containers in the center here. Very nice. With more gyroscopes. You got your uh, sort of nervous system of conveyors. Yeah, everything looks set up pretty good and compact. 
pretty good mining ship. Anyway, uh, I guess let's do a crash test or something. Alright, here we are. We got our ship and the asteroid. So we're just gonna hop into this thing and uh, just send it. So, yeah. A w time. Accelerating pretty well. Maybe it fools me. Uh, looks like he has a drill set up so you turn it on and off instead of clicking. Turn the flips these. There you go. survived pretty well. Really all you gotta do is uh, hold a welder wall against this and it's all fixed. Cargo's intact it looks like. Well, you'll still need to repair to access it, but like it didn't spill its contents everywhere. So yeah. This drill head. Uh, I don't think there's a single block broken off of it. All in all, I think this is a uh, pretty good ship. Since it's more of a utili utility ship, I don't think there's really much you can do to improve it. I mean, you don't really need it to look pretty. I guess you could add some greebles or something. Uh, what else? Uh, maybe reactors, maybe more jump drives. Yeah, you could do that by just like making it a bit longer. But yeah, other than that, it's a pretty good miner, it looks like. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll end this uh, little uh, ETL ship review off here. Alright, yeah, uh, subscribe, please. Yeah, bye. <laughs>